The joys of having dentures when you suck in, you can whistle. <laughs> you do a lot of sucking. So guys, this is our update of my dentures. It's been almost a year since I got them. They're pretty loose. I was supposed to go get them adjusted forever ago. I never did. So they're getting pretty bad now. I mean, I just randomly sucked in and whistled really loud. That's what kind of made me do this video. And I'm going to show you guys when I actually make my appointment and get them adjusted. But as you can see right now, I can push them out pretty easy just with my tongue and moving my mouth. Uh, when I got my original set and even these before they actually ground them down, it was... Don't laugh at me. It was pretty hard to pull them out. I mean, even with my hand, it was hard. What, you want to wear them? Yes. <laughs> uh, don't do this at home, guys. <laughs> As you can tell, it's time to clean them. And oh, thanks. I was cleaning my room. Oh, God. And I found my old, my original set, the temporaries. And I obviously, I didn't wash them and stuff. I just kind of didn't even put them in water. Uh, they were on my floor. And I could tell I ate some candy uh, the last time I did it. And also some glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. Anyways. Uh, I noticed my dentures have a cavity. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can dentures get cavities? Anyways. We're going to do a video on this. Is that a cavity? Or is it just a piece of chocolate like that? Yeah. When they uh, did these, that's kind of what you deal with when you get dentures. You get stuff stuck up under there. I obviously never clean these ones. Uh, okay, it looks like poop pulled off the camera. <laughs> so, yeah, these are no good anymore. I can't wear them. They don't fit at all. Um, I tried a couple times. I didn't like these ones when I originally got them. As you can tell, they curve in quite a bit. Um, other than that, they weren't too bad. It was just really the curve of them. See the difference, though? They're really tiny. That was the other thing I didn't like, is these ones have a ton of gum. My new ones do not. Eee! So, there's a big difference between my, my temporaries and my finals. I still ain't comfortable with my smile, but it definitely looks way better than these ones, and it looks way better than my original teeth, as you can tell my bottoms. They're not as bad as I used to think they were, but they're still bad. I miss making out with this guy. You're gonna have to put him back in sometime so I can make out with him. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Still haven't learned to smile. It's been almost a year since I got these, and I still don't like my smile. No smile with bottom teeth. Terrible. There we go. <laughs> Can you do that? Do what? My smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, I'm tired. That was bad. As you can tell, we like doing late night videos. <laughs>
There we go. I like that smile. See, guys, if I really smile without thinking about it, I can do a good smile. But, yeah, it's like 1 in the morning. We just got done taking care of reptiles and stuff. You can probably hear some of our bearded dragons. I have a couple in my bedroom that we just got and don't have a full setup for yet. So they're just in a temporary 20-gallon tank in my room. Um, but, yeah, we just got done watering snakes. And what else did we do over there? Checked on the veiled chameleon egg that should have hatched already and still hasn't so not sure if it's gonna hatch or not um do we do anything else over there watch the chameleons drink water oh yeah we did the chameleon misting system um i've had it set up a couple days now and my reptiles are over at my dad's place because we were building the new shop. We never finished it. We ended up moving around and stuff. So we just left everything over there for now until we figure out everything. And as we build the new shop and stuff like that. Um, but he called me, told me that one of the chameleons looked really bad. Like it wasn't getting water. And I was like, well, that's crazy. Cause I just spent, you know, 200, $300 on this misting system. I didn't put it up for quite a while. I've had it nine months. And we've just been misting by hand. Um, and I finally got around to putting that up. I didn't want to put it up till the, I had the new shop, but we got tired of misting by hand, so we figured we'd hook that up. And the chameleons, they're not used to it yet. And... It sprays really hard. I mean, if you watch that video, you see the the nozzle shaking. And one of the female chameleons actually grabbed onto it. And you can see her hand shaking. It's kind of funny. Uh, it was on, so she knows that there's water. But she was going up to the ceiling of the cage and trying to drink the ceiling of the cage where there was no water. Because we used to mist them uh, by hand. And then we'd also put... A container on the top and just popped a hole in it so it would drip through the screen so they haven't quite got the hang of the new misting system uh, hopefully in a couple weeks they'll be down for drinking out of that if not we're gonna figure out something else maybe I'll rescreen the cage and put the misting system above the screen uh, I honestly think that would have been the better option for these cages just because that's how they're used to drinking it also wouldn't be attached to the cages that way they're not shaking like they are now uh, I just didn't think that this misting system had as much power as it did um, it is the mist king and it's the one that can have 20 nozzles attached I mean I really like the system it's kinda hard to program I figured it would have definitely been a lot easier, but I did figure it out finally. Oh, I'll do a video on that too, because a lot of the people that post videos on that kind of skip some stuff. Uh, I watched some videos, and it went from step one to step three, and I was like, what are they talking about? And I still am having trouble when I kind of do it, but I can figure it out after a little bit, so you'll probably see me messing around with it, trying to figure it out. Um, silkworms are back in stock. We got new eggs finally that actually are going to hatch. The last batch or two that I actually bought were pretty poor quality. Um, we did raise up some silkworms ourselves and got eggs. We only had one batch that we got to pull out of the fridge and those ones just started hatching. Uh, right before we got this new batch the new batch of eggs are absolutely amazing they're taking quite a while to hatch which uh, means that they might have been pulled out a little bit early it also means that they're really fresh normally when you get eggs that hatch really quick it's because they're old so these eggs are doing really good mine hatched uh, all those eggs that hatch are now little tiny worms and they're already sold out so we're on to the ones that we actually bought 
and out of those we got like five back orders already so I'm hoping that these worms grow up quick um I better get going she's yeah, tired I fell asleep for a minute we're good she's tired look at them pretty blue eyes mm. oh <laughs> I think she's got me beat <laughs> All right. Have a great night, guys. <laughs>